caring and that for persons with disabilities is a total responsibility of their families. I think that's why there's a whole lot of issues facing persons with disabilities because they don't have that support and they don't have that service to accommodate their daily needs. We're an hour outside of Apia, inland and rural. Four people in the family we're visiting have a disability. There's no phone, no car, and for years they've existed without any support. But this family is just one of hundreds in the same isolated situation. Enlico is blind, he's had limited schooling and now rarely leaves his home. He has none of the modern aids that could improve his life. His brother has no communication and appears to have multiple disabilities, but he's never been assessed. Their mother devotes her life to her four disabled children. Have you been blind since birth? Yes. It's the first time he's been asked about his condition and his needs, and it gives him hope that his situation might change. Now he's, he's saying now he would like a white cane and he would also like a wheelchair because he's, um, he's growing old at this stage. Uh, whatever kind of assistance that's possible would be highly appreciated. Their poverty is compounded by the fact their mother can't work. What are some of the um, challenges for your family having, you know, you have four people with a disability in the family. What are some things that are hard for the whole family? One of the major challenges that, that, that they realised is the financial side. Because without the money, they won't be able to, to buy the needs that they want. There is little information about disability. Instead, tales of sins and superstitions are passed down through the generations. What about your spirituality? Does this challenge your faith in God? Yeah, I, I believe that this is a challenge from God, is to test my, my faith in Him. There is speculation in the village, amongst the village, that this is a sin in the family, it's a curse for the family. But for, for, her, um, for myself, this is not a curse. This is, this is all, um, all a challenge from God, uh, and, and it's to, to make us stronger. Uh, to, to, to have these four kids. They did take the children to the, to the monastery for the nuns to see if it was a curse. But the, the nuns at the monastery told us that no, it's, it's, it's just to strengthen you on how, to, how you carry your cross by God. When the mum was talking about like people in the village talking about like a curse or something, what, what was she talking about then? Because Samoan people, we are very superstitious and uh, we tend to look at this as it's a curse on the family. Either the mother or father have done something in the past and the, the children are now um, bearing the fruits of that. As you can see, the, the fale, or the center house, all of this is, was um, donated by St. Vincent's to Paul. They saw the living conditions that they were living. This is a house just behind here, and it's, it's actually just a shack, what I would say. Here in Samoa, there's no benefits, disability benefits available. People with disabilities um, rely on, on organizations such as Nonolia Lofa, Fiamma Malama for education or Lotu Tamafai. Certainly, it is quite sad that the government isn't providing special benefits for, for people with disabilities. <laughs> 